Hello, welcome to the HTS ePoll. It's your opportunity to weigh in on the most pressing issues of the day. The Pan American Health Organization is again sounding the alarm over the prevalence of non communicable diseases, NCDs, among the populations of member states, St. Lucia included. Some of the non communicable diseases and conditions that are taking a toll on the St. Lucia population are diabetes, hypertension, strokes and heart attacks, asthma, obesity, kidney disease, to name some of the leading examples. The Minister for Health, Moses Jabati, says 83% of deaths in St. Lucia are related to non-communicable diseases, noting that the prevalence of NCDs is having a significant economic and social impact on life in St. Lucia. So we ask... Are St. Lucians sufficiently aware of the impact of non-communicable diseases on the health of the population? We took to the streets to get your opinion, and here's what you had to say. I can tell you in my assessment that a lot of effort has been made in the ministry, but I don't think we have enough points of, 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 of dissemination where information can reach the, the public. Um, I know for now, you know, in these present times, we rely a lot on um, the media, social media and stuff like that, but we have a lot of people who are not Akuma with social media, so I, I feel that there should be um, a constant a constant activation, a constant activity to keep people informed of some of the chronic diseases because you, it goes through here and comes out through the other side, you know you can still see people still not adhering to some of, of the protocols that, that, that they've given them, the guidelines they've given them to take care of themselves and to avoid getting it contaminated by, 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 a, by a number of diseases, okay? So I, I, I think more can be done, a lot more can be done. Some has been done, yes, but a lot more can be done. No, no, they're not fully informed and there are also a lot more information that we are not aware of. For example, um, what really causes the disease It's the foods that we eat, um, diabetes. It's caused by the starch, the sugar, and the unnatural foods that we eat, it clogs up our system, it destroys our pancreas, and, and it just causes mayhem within the body. So if we eat natural, then all diseases, all forms of diseases can be reversed. This is why Melanid is here today. We would like, we share information on how persons can reverse sicknesses and can become healthy and become more, um, it choose make 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 more lifestyle choices that will benefit their health. One, people just don't care about their life anymore. People just believe that you know, whatever we eat, whatever we drink, it's okay. And so we can smoke, we can do. That. But I'm um, truly, I'm um, seven thing. Um, we have been. I mean, it's easy. You no, know, there are things that why you don't drink. You know, okay. For example, why you don't drink gas? And so on, right? You know, gas is not good for your body. And so on, you know the effect of it. But I'm saying that there are things that we that we are we, we've been taught and we should know. And so by the creator that um, that can create it, um, that can create diabetes and sicknesses and all that. But we need to take care of our body. Ministry of Health cannot continue of just preaching to us. And there are things that we should do to take care of our body. And the government can do it on their own. You are responsible. God gave you this body. And some thing, the moment that you do not take care of this body, eventually this body will have all type of will have all type of problems. It does not function. The information is there, right on the internet as well. Solutions just use the internet differently for more for Ruru and cockanicious business and so on. So the information is there. It's, it's up to the individual to go sort the information for themselves. I believe that we St. Lucians, we believe too much in the pharmaceutical ideas of diabetes and hypertensiveness. I think we have to invest more in our natural products for it because the same, the effects of the, the pharmaceutical medications where you get the impotencies and all those different kind of things coming associated with it, with the natural medication, we do not have all that. So I believe that the doctors, nurses have to educate the nation more about the natural things that they can use to help them with the situation instead of promoting more of the pharmaceutical medications. Well, I more believe, I more believe Lucian, especially Lucian, they don't care. They eat in all the, all the um, can they keep fighting, they, that's what they like. They, they don't like to go and boil hard food, you understand? 
is fast food that's what they and eating a lot of junk and that causing diabetes that you know so we lucian have to take care of ourselves it's not people out there that have to come and take care for, for us is we that have to take care for ourselves well to me i just think they have enough information especially the digital world i mean online the amount of information people that don't want to do it they just don't want to take note i think there's enough information i must say that we are not being informed as to the different sicknesses as diabetes hypertensive and also cancer we need to create more awareness programs whereby we could elevate the standards in teaching on health issues and not just learning it but making it a daily routine a part of our life actually because many a time we have places for instance the health center with many brochures people don't really look out for that most times they would spend it on their phone i don't want to be on the phone but we need to educate ourselves and nurture ourselves but first to begin is the word of god seek first the game of god or his righteousness and follow after so we send Lucians to practice a healthy lifestyle, exercise well, eat well, drink well, sleep well, and don't stress ourselves. For instance, the tamarind is very good for hypertensive, and so the kidney and the liver. Let your food be your medicine, and your medicine be your food. Most people, especially ladies, focus more on the outside appearance. We need to focus on inside. I could elaborate on it by saying disability is not inability. Educate ourselves for a better St. Lucia and a better tomorrow and beyond. And be an ambassador for our country. Thank you, Mr. Jeremiah. My name is Irvin. Stay focused, direct contact, be vigilant. Thank you once again. I'm quite, quite elated to be on your program this morning. Thank you, sir. Thanks for those responses. Now to our new discussion. The suspension of opposition leader Alan Chastney from attending parliament, pending a withdrawal of allegations of corruption and an apology, will be lifted. The opposition leader walked out of the House during the proceedings, dealing with his allegations with the police ordered not to allow the opposition leader to leave the House before Parliament had ruled on the matter. Chastney, who has taken the matter to court, claims that he is being unfairly targeted by the Speaker and says he will not be silenced as his actions are aimed at preserving St. Lucia's democracy. Those critical of Alan Chastney's behavior in the House say he is demonstrating contempt for the Speaker and Parliament as he did with all other speakers and parliament when he was prime minister. So we ask, do you have a positive impression of opposition leader Alan Shastay's conduct in the House of Assembly? Voting is easy. Just log on to hdsaintlucia.org and vote. Remember, our ePoll team is always on the go to get your responses as well. Watch the HDS News Force from 7 p.m. for the results and a new discussion.